need this to stop. Seriously, this has, ha this has got to end and you must play a part. October is National Bully Prevention Month. In Norwalk, the Center for Youth Leadership at Brian McMahon High School is working to put an end to an issue that affects teens across the country. It's a lot of people's tendencies to just kind of look away. I mean, like I talked about in the um, in the press conference, just pity versus passion. It's so easy to pity somebody, but to actually step into their chaos and to um, be able to connect with them on a certain level and to understand what they're actually going through and help them get out of that. Bullying is one of four social issues the organization is focusing on, each represented by a color. Blue for bullying, orange for child abuse, purple for teen dating violence, and green for mental health. A lot of people don't understand what can bullying lead to. Like it leads, it can lead to mental illness. You know, you go into like, you go, if you have bullying, if, you, if you're being bullied, you can go into depression. According to the Connecticut Commission on Children, students who report being bullied are more likely to get less sleep, miss school because they feel unsafe, feel depressed, attempt suicide, carry a weapon to school, and experience dating violence. Brian McMahon's mental health first aid team one of two student teams in the state is working closely with the Center for Youth Leadership to tackle bullying in the school. We are entering their chaos. We are going into their lives and what they go through every day. And it's just important to be able to have someone there that has gone to training that can like go to a student in the hallway or in a classroom that you notice that they're not okay and you just want to be there for them. The Center for Youth Leadership plans to host many events throughout October that bring awareness to bullying. In Norwalk, Quadriba Crawfee, it's relevant.com.